In this video, we give you a tour of the Bavaria C45. We are sailing through Thailand and then we get off the dock, raise some sails and do some sailing. Our first stop is Koh Wai and then we head ashore to explore the beach where we have a little comparison to see who has the better butt. You can't beat the warm Thai waters. And then we get stuck in a really scary lightning storm. The strong winds pushed us into a mooring line that I had to jump into the water in the middle of the night to clear it. We were a little jet lag after traveling to the other side of the planet to Ko Chong where the Island Spirit Charter Base is located. All right, had a good trip stay here at Santia Tree and now we're uh, gonna go grocery shopping and get a ride over to the marina to get on the boat. And pick up Bobby's dirty underwear. Yeah, pick up my dirty underwear. <laughs> now they're clean. <laughs> now they're clean. Nice. I hope so. All right, we can only hope. We had spent the night at a hotel and we're on our way to the charter base, but first we had to make a stop to pick up some groceries. <laughs> this is difficult. You should try shopping in different languages. Like this, what the? Yeah, we probably need a gallon of whatever that is. I have no idea is. what that is. It's probably soy sauce or like Maji. Bobby <laughs> upgraded his job. He got a promotion. Yeah, now I'm a bag checker. <laughs> Cash only. 18,000 baht. 18,000 baht, that's like a little over, about $500 actually, right at $500. Which honestly, not We're terrible. Weird. We're finding a way to make it all work. This is the most important yeah. Stuff that we provision. Oh, thank you. It's just, just like, shut up. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Okay. You ready? Let's do this. All right, we have arrived. Kind of get some video after we get all unloaded. But, all right, we're here. Ready? Let's do all right. it. Do it. So here we are at Salak Pet. Uh, it's the resort and kind of uh, restaurant here. I've stayed at these places before. They're actually very nice. Um, it's a very nice place to come and, and just chill, but it's like a place to just come and chill. Like there's nothing really around here. If you want nightlife or, I mean, they just have the one restaurant. There's another one walking distance, but if you want to go out and do stuff, this isn't the place. If you want to come chill, this might be the place for you. But it is home of the Island Spirit uh, Charter Base here in Koh Chang. Uh, I believe they have about a dozen or so boats based here. They have a bunch of uh, they have, I don't know, five or six, seven uh, catamarans and about maybe as many monohulls. Kind of a cool spot to come. Uh, I've sailed here quite a bit, so I know the area quite well. So we're going to have a chart briefing and a briefing in general with Raymond. He's the base manager here. The guys are out here on the dock already loading our boat up, which is nice because I mean, they're gonna load everything up, put it in the refrigerator and all that stuff too, so it's gonna be kinda nice. So it may look like the dock is kinda unfinished, but it's not. So actually, these are all like uh, fish pens. So they'll catch a fish and put them in there so that keeps them alive in the little netting underneath the dock. So that's what that's for. All right, so we're about to do the briefing now, do that, and then we'll show you guys the boat before we get off the dock. All right, so this is uh, Raymond, the uh, base manager here. Hello. Island Spirit. He just gave me a tour. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Very informative. And uh, we're going to have a good time sailing. It looks yes. pretty. It looks in good condition. That's right. Great. Uh, well, ladies, uh, pay a tab here. And you ready to get on the boat? I... Y'all look like you're ready for a nap. <laughs> this jet lag is real. It is. <laughs> Let's go to the boat. Let's go. So these are all the fish pens, like, for the seafood place. So you can see there's some fish over here. And there's some other... I think there's, I saw some more in this thing over here. This is where Bobby's sleeping, and uh, we're taking the boat by ourselves. Oh, okay. All right. So this is the boat. It's a 2018 Bavaria C45. Name is North Star. And uh, yeah, we're gonna give you a tour over here in just a moment. Let's get on board. All right. So I'm gonna give you a tour. Amanda's gonna be my camera person, and we'll get moving. All right, pretty simple stuff here. You got your windlass here, the controller's in this forward hatch. It does have, and it's kind of a storage room. You can put some stuff in there. Uh, and then the windlass controls are right here. Pretty simple, nothing to it. All right, coming back, uh, your two hatches. So the, the forward cabins are a little smaller. We'll show you inside, but they do get a lot of airflow because these nice big hatches here. It's got a self-tacking jib, so it's really easy to control. Just single, single sheet for it, goes back. And then to the mast here, it has a single line reefing as well, which I'm not a big fan of, but you know, I understand. It 
it's a simple system, but it, I just I prefer double line reading. All the controls run aft, so you don't actually have to come up here to do anything. So let's uh, run back. All right, uh, in here to the cockpit, it does have a dodger that you can fold up and down, but I mean, unless it's raining, we just leave it down to get better airflow. Uh, and then the bimini top, keep the sun off you, which is pretty important in here, but uh, it does get a nice bit of airflow. I like how open the uh, cockpit is. You can seat a lot of people around here, and then you have your two wheels on each side. One thing I don't like is that the this winch here that controls all your sheets and your halyards, I mean, it's so close to this wheel that you can't really turn the wheel, um, but it does have another winch here. This would be for your spinnaker if you have it. It does have a bowsprit up front, but obviously it's a charter boat, so they don't, put, uh, they don't put any of those kind of sails on here. But nice and spacious, lots of seating, and you have your chart plotter here uh, that actually runs uh, NaviOps, which is basically runs the electrical system of the boat, which controls all the pumps, the lights, and everything. I don't really like that. That means all everything has to be run through the through the chart plotter, and so like if you want to turn it off, you can't. You have to leave that chart plotter on the whole time. I get it, they're trying to simplify everything, but I, I prefer old school having actual switches to turn things on and off, or breakers. Uh, so, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, so all your lines run back here, your sheets over here, and then what, uh, your main sheet, and uh, boom bang, and all that reefing lines. All right, uh, you do have 100 or 450 watts of solar, which is nice. It has lithium batteries, brand new lithium batteries in here, which is good, right? Because you can use a lot of your battery power. I mean, there's no air conditioner and this boat uses very little power. So, uh, you know, they say that there's 450 watts with the lithium batteries and, you know, there's so little, it's not much wind, right? So we're gonna have to probably motor anyway. We shouldn't have to run a generator. Well, there is no generator, but we shouldn't have to mo run the motor to charge the batteries. Uh, it does have this uh, transom folds down into a nice swim deck. Uh, you have to get the dinghy out of the way first, but you have a couple davits to help pull that up. Um, lots of storage in here um, on each side. And, uh, you know, so you keep all your snorkel gear and all that stuff. Also, uh, you have in these lazarettes, uh, lots of storage on each side. We got our beer stored in there right now. And uh, it was really cool. So the guys that uh, work here actually loaded up all our stuff on the boat and actually stocked our refrigerator and everything. It's pretty nice of them. And then it has a propane grill off the back. So that's pretty much it here for the top side. Let's go down below and give you a quick tour of that. All right, so this is the uh, main salon here and the galley's kind of got an L-shaped galley, which is right here part of the salon. So you can kind of be in the action while you're cooking. Uh, lots of handholds everywhere as you're walking around so you can get around there uh, and then so we'll start up here on the forward part uh, we got our bags out right now because we haven't kind of put everything away yet but you get a general idea you do have some breakers here for all your stuff if you need to do it but these are the only breakers on the boat really um, other than like stuff for like windless controls and all that which I don't like because you have to run through the navigation system to, to get all that but because uh, it's a little cramped in here I'll take you up here myself it's uh, two two cabins two heads the cabins are I mean, you're snuggling if you're two people in there. So uh, either you like to snuggle or it's for one person in my opinion, but it is what it is. And then each cabin has its own head. I would have liked to have seen something like this instead of having two separate, like complete heads. So this one's a shower, the head and everything in here. I would have liked to have like one's a shower and one's like, you know, a toilet, but I don't know, I guess, I guess you can still set it up that way. And then it's just a reverse mirror image on the other side. Uh, in the galley here, you do have a two drawer fridge, uh, top and bottom, and then a double sink here. It's kind of small, it's kind of useless, I don't know what it's used for, but it is what it is. Uh, and then just a little cupboard here for storing um, appliances and stuff there. Gimbaled stove, storage behind here everywhere, um, plate, put cups, plates, all that stuff. And as well, if you look down that side, there's storage behind all that as well. All right, coming back in the aft cabins here, definitely a little bit bigger, but the downside of having the aft cabin <laughs> is uh, less airflow in these things. So um, just because, I mean, you do have these hatches here and all that, but just less airflow, unfortunately. But decent size space here. It's uh, almost, uh, it's, what is it, twin size? I don't know. What's, what's right below a queen? What, that's double? a queen? Or wait, or uh, a full. 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 Yeah. Okay. I don't know. But, and then it's a mirror image on the other side. And then, so these two cabins actually have to share one head, although it is slightly larger and it is kind of a dry head. So it has a separate shower and a uh, toilet area. All right, that is a quick and dirty tour. What you thinking, Amanda? I'm thinking it was quick and it was dirty. <laughs> <laughs> and hot, and hot. No, it's so hot. All right, let's get moving then. What are we doing today, Lena? We are sailing. We are is that sailing. The answer? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, no, we're motoring probably. And we're gonna get off the dock right now and we're gonna go, the first stop is gonna be Kauai, a little resort there. I don't know what I call a resort, but a place that has rooms and food called uh, Kauai Paradise. 
And so we're gonna go there and have a good time at Paradise. You ready? Yeah. All right, so the way the guys do it here is they actually get us off the dock uh, <laughs> for like, you know, make sure we don't crash anything. So they're gonna get us off the dock now. Making our jobs easy. Yeah. They got, they got a little mooring holding us off, because so, it's just a floating dock right here. So uh, One of the guys will drive the boat and get us off the dock, and then they'll tow a dinghy behind us and take the on. No yeah. way. That's how they do it. <laughs> if you're wondering where Amanda is, she's putting on a bikini, I believe. Which is, where, you know, uh, well, you know, I thought you needed one deckhand, you know? <laughs> you should put on oh. shorts, look at that. Oh. Now we're matching. Oh my. I was wearing jeans. Really? Did you guys plan this? Oh, I did not. What's, what's going yeah. on here? Yeah, we planned it. Right. Yes, I left my glasses. We, it's our though. uniform. <laughs> See you, Raymond. Thank you. Have fun. We will. All right, we're getting off the dock right now. So, last time I was here was two years ago. It was right after COVID, so there wasn't a whole lot open, unfortunately, or they were just opening up. Uh, and uh, but there's a lot of new resorts built here. It's kind of nice seeing that this area kind of coming up. Cup from cop. Thank you. Thank you. Bye guys. There he goes. All right, we're on our way. Let's do this. It's Miller time. That's not called Miller. It's Sing Ha time. That's what I'm talking about. You want one? Choke these nuts. <laughs> Bobby's putting up a hammock. This is where he's sleeping tonight. <laughs> yeah. All right, go ahead. So here's what I was talking about in the boat tour. Like trying to winch this in. Yeah, you know, the wheel gets in the way. It kind of sucks. You have to have a really short handle. And you know, if it's real short, you just can't use it very well, right? That's what she said. Thank you, though. <laughs> It was only a few miles to our first stop, so we were sailing on just the jib. If you would like to charter with Group Island Spirit, use code SD20 for 20% off your booking. Nice job. <laughs> All right, this is uh, Kauai Paradise pulling up. Looks like he's done some improvements, had some mooring balls and all that. So I think we'll pull up and get one of these yellow ones right here. All right, guys. Uh, nice first mooring. Three-way. High five. Oh, we're going to add the high five part. Otherwise, people think it's just three-way. Yeah. Awkward. They always do, right? <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, welcome to Kauai <laughs> Paradise. All right. I, what do y'all want to do? Do y'all want to, like, go ashore and, like... Why would we want to go to that shore? Yeah. Why it's would you want to go there? I mean, that doesn't like, look VIP worthy. It's kind of janky. Yeah, like, I don't know. <laughs> Is it good enough for us? Yeah. No, I'm kidding. It's so pretty. Well, y'all get some on that we can get in the water with. And let's do it. Felt great to be on a mooring at Kauai in front of the coral reef and beautiful sandy beach. So I think we'll go to the beach. We can get in the water from the beach if we want, or hang out on the swings and chairs or whatever the f we want to do. You know, ready? Um, yes. Yeah. That doesn't sound like <laughs> no, you're I'm ready, Amanda. I know, I know. We need a little bit more attitude, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm so ready. I've never Wait. been like so excited. What was that? Okay. That? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. All right. F you guys. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to the beach. Watch how graceful I am. I mean, wow. Pretty good. Look at that. Paradise. I like the sand's pretty nice. It is. Nice soft. And soft. This is Law. He's the yeah. owner of the place. Hello. Kauai Paradise. Kauai Paradise. So, uh, how much are the cabins to rent? We have a new cabin there. there. We shot a 1,200. 1,200 baht, so... And bathroom inside. Okay, a bathroom yeah, inside, yeah. so you don't have to share a bathroom anymore. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, we'll go We'll go some video of it, but... Uh, so check him out. There's a link to his page. But always, when we come sail here, we always have to come and see you. Yeah, 
yeah. it's a great spot yeah. great beach and good to uh, see you again good to see you man <laughs> good to see you all right thank you so 1200 bought for a cabin with a bathroom that's like what 33 dollars and 59 cents to have a cabin on the beach and so it's pretty nice and then you get all this i mean it's like like chill right you're not Super gonna party chill. balls but i don't know time. let's wait until tonight well, we don't know about that. We don't I'm know just about kidding. that. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess if you run into us out here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whose ass? Yours. Uh, your ass is, uh, sorry. Your ass is fatter than Bobby's is what he's trying to say. Is it, are we going to have an ass off? We have an ass off. Okay. All right. This is on the, um, I'll be the, yeah. Um, okay. Alina, your Patreon ass is definitely bigger honestly, than Bobby's. Honestly, honestly, <laughs> I probably had to blur that out. So if you want to see that, it might be on Patreon or yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but Sorry, I probably guys. had to blur that out for you too. Sorry. Watch out, this is VIP territory only. You have to stay over there, Bobby. <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. But I'm telling you, this water is like perfect. It is, it feels like, amazing. Like perfect temperature, yeah. feels so good. So this is how like, because it's, you know, there's no real dock here. What they do is, is the boats pull up to that outer pontoon and then they pull this dock to it. No way. Yeah. And then that's, so then they load everything up on that and then bring it ashore. Wow. Yeah. These people are very um, smart and interesting well, with the way that they do dude, Yeah, I mean, yeah. So they, they sitting on like what, a seven, 14, 50 gallon drums. Yeah. Of, that's, that's your pontoon. Well, most of the little cabins are just cabins, right? I mean, they have a fan and a bed and whatever, but like, they built some new ones here that have a bathroom inside. Otherwise, you have a shared bathroom. But so for thirty-three dollars a night, having look at this. Would you stay in that for thirty-three dollars a night? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Pretty awesome. They've been debating for like five minutes if that's a dog or a cat. So we had to walk all the way over. It's just, I mean, I was like, clearly a dog would never lay on a bench like that. I'm sorry. That thing probably smells so bad. Like, mm. You guys probably smell so bad. <laughs> yeah. I definitely do. I had sweat dripping down my back today at multiple times. I don't know. I smell amazing. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you just do? What just happened? A fly. I, I don't. You know what? I don't know. Did but I, a fly. Did I, did I get that on video? You did. You, did. you got me spazzing out. I, I don't remember the technical term, but they're like ghost houses, right? So like. Every home and business has one outside of their place, and you do offerings like so. They got you know I don't know some kind of drinks and stuff uh, because you don't want the spirits to live in your own house. You want them to live in the spirit house. Okay. So what that's why they put them out there. Is that? Yeah. That is some kind of. Wasp. It's a spirit. No, yeah. that looks like that could sting you and you would die. Mm. <laughs> Let's go back to the. <laughs> All right, the girls are taking some pictures, but uh, you should follow their Instagrams. There's some pretty great pictures. But uh, we're gonna head back to the boat a little bit, regroup, get cleaned up, and then come back in for dinner. We are surrounded by like thunder and lightning. It's like strobe lights right now. Yes, I think a little scary. <laughs> we should turn this into a party. Who's got a disco ball? Oh. Let's. Okay. Who's got a disco ball? Yeah, you got a disco you ball? Bring a disco Fuck, ball? Not with Dude, me. there's so much lightning around here. Pray for us. Pray for, yeah, pray for us. It's it's amazing because it's so calm out here. It's just yeah, it's the calm before the storm. Wow. You ain't scared yet? Psh, no, you're scared. There's so many bats out right now. They're huge. Oh, they're, they're everywhere. They're amazing. I mean, like, there's like, I mean, two, wow, it's so freaking. Hey, Alina. Alina. There's bats everywhere. Bats. Oh, Bite me, I'll be bat girl. Ah. <laughs> All right, we're hanging out inside now. So uh, we're waiting out the rain. I'm not gonna take the camera loose tonight because I don't wanna get it wet and have to deal with it. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, okay, I, uh, I didn't realize you were being set up for something. I didn't either, I wasn't thinking about it. <laughs>
That's they're not true saying. sailors if they're not if your mind's not going straight to that. You're Maybe not true it does. You know, I mean, I'm yeah, myself. we that must have been a. See, yeah, I think you set that one up bad. You're but. reaching a little bit. You tell me down in the comments. Was I reaching or was that like totally? Anyway. All right, so uh, we're gonna wait out this rain and then we are gonna go ashore and have dinner, and uh, we're gonna see you guys in the morning. So, thanks for tuning in. Good night. Good night. So the mooring line for this little pier is, I think it's under our rudder. So like, I gotta clear it. Hell no. Actually, Alina was just saying she wants to do it. Hell you jump no. In? I would if it weren't dark. Oh. <laughs> I'm scared of the dark. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, is that water? Oh, oh I got that. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. Don't do it again. Bro. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're good. Thank you for jumping in. Yeah, all right. So now I gotta rinse off. Okay, now that we're unstuck and it's not pouring rain, we're gonna go try to eat dinner. And then we're gonna pass TF out. Oh, I mean like pass go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's looking like we're literally stuck again. After getting the boat stuck for a second time, I used the dinghy to move the boat away from the mooring line, and then we changed moorings.